Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of December reading for you all. December 16th through the 31st reading for Gemini. How are you all today? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Ooh, I'm going to take that one. Wants to come out, we're going to let it. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. Hope everybody has a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. If you're traveling, you all please be safe. Okay. this one. All right. Let's see what we got. Queen of Swords. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. King of Wands, the Moon, Knight of Cups, five people out of six cards, you all, the Hierophant, Ace of Wands, and the World. Boy, those tell a lot right there. Woman holding a heart and community. And you know that's funny because that's how I see these cards too, like community or people are helping you somehow, some way. Look for a sign. Improving health. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. You know, when I get so many people like this, I feel like this could be your family. This could be your parents, your your children, your immediate family. But it could also be people in your community, people that surround you, people that are in your circle coming together. I, that's how I'm almost feeling about it. I almost feel, and even before I got this community, but that kind of puts puts it over the edge for me. It makes me feel like that you guys are going to have people surrounding you or helping you or giving you advice or um, handing you something that's going to help you more than anything. I also feel like some of you all may be going through some sort of health issues and you may be getting feeling better at this time, or someone around you may be going through health issues. When I get to the king and the queen in, in the same suit, I feel like that this is an extremely strong couple. Now, this may be you and someone else, and it usually in my mind, it usually is. But it could also be someone around you, parents, grandparents, um, godparents, someone that has um, always protected you, always been on your side, and always um, had your best interest at heart. But for some reason I feel like this is a power couple. And when I say a power couple, I, I really do mean it. Um, the, the ones are fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
and and even though this may not be your sign because you guys are an air sign I just feel like you know this could be your energy this could be you and a partner's energy your determination your passion um, your energy and you're putting everything that you have into something at this time now when I get the moon card I can see it in different ways on one hand I feel like your intuition your inner wisdom your inner guidance your inner spirit is going to be strong and telling you things that um, will help you a lot if you'll listen to it you know how when when your gut tells you to do something or not to do something and if you don't do it you feel bad later you're like man alive I knew better than to do that how many times have you guys said that I knew better I did it anyway that is what I'm saying if your gut or your instincts or your inner wisdom kinda leans you in a different direction go with it it's very important because honestly it's uh, something that everybody has but not everybody goes with it and it's it's important because that to me in my mind anyway that's what keeps us safe and doing the right things and going down the right paths so for me that's important and I want I just had to say that but for you all now whether this is something regarding your family something regarding your job or your business or something that you're not approving of that's going on maybe even in your community maybe these are community people coming together to help you or to support you somehow now sometimes this could be um, that maybe it's even regarding church especially with the hierophant over here so maybe this is your church community coming together to help people or to do something specific but I just have a good feeling that something is about to happen that you're going to have a lot of people surrounding you and helping you in more ways than you could ever imagine. And that in itself is a really good uh, feeling that I have. Now also when I get this world card here, I feel like it's almost like a a sense of relief for some sometimes when I get this world card you know when you're going through a certain um, cycle in your life and sometimes you just want to say okay I want that cycle to end <laughs> so I can start out in a new beginning kinda that's how I feel when I get the world card I feel like that one particular cycle in your life is coming to an end so something else can begin and so that so that you all can start out in a fresh new um, life a little bit in a fr it's almost like a big stepping stone in your life so when I get the world card that's how I'm feeling I'm feeling like something's coming to an end so something else can begin and it's a great feeling that I have and it could possibly do with have something to do with all of these people that are surrounding you as well and then when I get this ace of wands I mean honestly you guys this is a beautiful ace you guys probably already know that aces are a new beginning and a new chapter in your life possibly going right behind this world card with this new cycle and these new chapters coming in I just feel like this particular ace is something that can be it can go in so many different directions that you guys will be thrilled with with what it can stand for it can stand for a new job or promotions it can stand for new beginnings in general new homes babies um, success it can mean that you know everything that you've been working so hard for may be paying off at this time so I just get excited when I get the ace of wands I mean any and all of the aces are good don't get me wrong but especially under these circumstances it's almost like you guys are, are uh, fired up you know because the, the wands are fire signs so I feel like you're fired up and you're ready to to take on something that um, you're going to be thrilled about 
in the very near future is how I'm feeling. And then when I get this once again, this Hierophant, um, he can stand for religion and, and spirituality and things like that. He can also stand for higher education or getting some sort of um, degrees or diplomas or something to that extent. And maybe that's where all of these people are coming in to support you somehow, some way. New business opportunities maybe, something to that extent. But then I also get this look for a sign. So when I get this card, and I honestly don't get it very often, when I get this card, uh, there's different ways that you can see it. Like I was saying earlier, regarding your inner wisdom, or your inner, your gut feeling, your instincts, here's the thing. Sometimes, when you're waiting on something to come in, and you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to do, which path you're supposed to take, what direction you're supposed to go, which job maybe you're wanting, or um, should I, shouldn't I, you know, that kind of thing. We're always trying to sit back and say, I guess I'll just sit here and figure something out. And then all of a sudden you may see a, something may pop up on the computer or on the, on the TV, or somebody calls you, or you have a dream at night, or something happens and you make up your mind almost immediately what you need to do. That's how I'm feeling about this look for a sign. Now, whether it comes in um, in any of those ways, or sometimes it's just like, just like an instant, you think of something, or you have an idea, or something like that happens, to me, that's what it is telling you, try this. Why don't you look into this? Here's an idea for you. And it, you know, to me, that in my mind is the sign that you may be looking for. So I don't necessarily want you all to sit around and look for signs. I'm just saying when it's time and when the right sign comes, you're going to know it, okay? So I just want you to be aware of that. But honest to goodness, um, I have a good feeling about something that may be going on. Now maybe these are your family members too. Maybe you guys are all getting together for the holidays for Christmas um, and maybe that's what's going on with the community. Um, maybe you're uh, helping other people you know in your community or in your neighborhood or in, at your church. So maybe that's what's going on. But to me there's something that just makes me feel like you're going to have a lot of people um, surrounding you in a good way or helping you get something accomplished or helping you uh, achieve something specific. So I think it's a great feeling. I don't normally get this many people in a reading, I want to tell you right now, but because of the rest of the cards, it's a really good feeling that I have. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. You know, these knights could be actual people or younger energies or children or, you know, I mean, they may not be children at all. They just may have a younger energy. But they can also stand for other things, like the Knight of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But he can also stand for romance. He can stand for emotions or maybe, um, you know, different things like that. Um, the Knight of Wands is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittari Sagittarius, but this can mean exciting and happy news coming in, new jobs, promotions, things like that, along with this Ace of Wands. There's something exciting about to happen, I feel, and it's really going to get you all um, happy about a certain situation. And you know, back to this moon card before I get into the, the story, uh, I feel like that with this, on one hand with the intuition, like I was saying earlier, and the spiritual and the inner guidance and gut feelings, that's how I feel on one hand. But on the other hand, sometimes 
we're not seeing the whole picture. Sometimes um, it can be, um, let's put it this way. If you're outside in the daytime, you can see clearly. You can see everything around you. If you come outside at night when the moon's shining only, you can only see half of what's around you. You can see shadows and you can't really see if somebody's lurking behind a tree or you you know what I'm saying, right? With this moon card, I feel like for some of you guys, there may be some sort of um, information, some sort of news, some sort of a, a, um, a full picture coming in somehow, some way. So sometimes if you're not getting the full picture, it doesn't make much sense. Sometimes if you're not getting the whole truth, it doesn't make much sense. So when I get the moon card today, especially, I feel like there's going to be something that comes in that's going to open your eyes to the complete full picture if that makes any sense to you guys. And I think it does, and I think you understand what I'm saying. Because if somebody only tells you, the, you know, half of a story, and you're kind of sitting around scratching your head going, well, that don't make much sense. And then later on, when you hear the rest of the story, you're like, okay, now that makes sense, you know? <laughs> so I'm almost feeling like there's going to be something that opens your eyes, or some sort of truth that comes out, or some sort of information that comes out that you're going to say, aha, that makes sense. So that's how I'm feeling about that. So with all of these people, and I, 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 I had a good feeling when I first flipped them up, and then when I got this community over here, it really gave me even a better feeling. This Queen of Swords is your energy, and this is you, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. This is you all searching for the truth, searching for information, searching for, um, the right things and clarity and stuff like that. When I get the King and the Queen of Wands in the same suit, I feel like this could be you and someone else, a power couple. This could also be someone in your family or in your immediate circle that has your best interest at heart and that will help you in any way that they can. On the flip side of this, these are fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, along with the Knight, and this is fire and passion and energy and you, you're not going to stop to get something done if it's important to you. Then when I get the night, these two nights down here, I feel like, um, you know, the night is new jobs, new businesses, promotions, new homes, new beginnings in different ways, along with the ace, of course, too. So, and then this night is emotions and romance and, um, Helping your uh, happiness, your emotional happiness, I think, more than anything. When I get these over here, I'm feeling like you guys could become more spiritual or more, you might be wanting to go back to church. The community situation may be regarding church. It's, it's different for everyone. It could also mean higher education or someone helping you that may have a higher education. When I get the world card, it, make, it makes me think that something is going to be put behind you. You've completed a cycle in your life just so you can start out in, in a new cycle. So when you finish that cycle, I feel like that you may have something good coming in. It's almost like um, a blessing in disguise. For instance, something good may come in as a as a pat on the back, so to speak, for you guys finishing this cycle. And then I get this Ace of Wands saying, hey, this could be new homes, new businesses, new jobs, new promotions, new beginnings, babies even, creativity. This is your fire and your energy moving forward. And then over here, I do think you're going to have a sign that comes in. Now, I don't want you all walking around going, what's, what's the sign? What's the sign? I want you all just to be normal and natural. And when it's the time is right, and you will know what I'm talking about, okay? If you have anybody in your uh, immediate family or yourself that's not been feeling good, I think your health is going to start improving. If you guys are going a little stir crazy, being at home a lot, I think your health is going to, your mental health is going to start improving. Um, I do think you may have uh, someone 
close to you that's going to help you with advice or give you some sort of information that may help you tremendously. But I do think that a lot of these people here are people in the community that's coming together, whether it be people that work for you, people that your family, your friends, or, or your co-workers, or your employees, or boss, or whoever it is. It may be people in your church. I just feel like you're going to have backing. People are going to back you and people are going to stand up for you for one reason or another and so you guys can possibly get something done. So in my mind, even though there is a lot of people on here, I feel like something good is coming out of it, you all. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, you may be pleasantly surprised here in the very near future. These could be family members as well that's coming in for the holidays or something, but I just feel like you guys are, um, are going to have a lot of support from a lot of different people and you're really going to be thrilled about it and appreciative of it as well. So whatever it is that you're looking to do or looking forward to, I think you're going to get some sort of information extremely soon and I think